Welcome, I am Sagrot and I will be your host on this fourth episode of my Welcome to Star Trek Online. First of all, this uh, we have a slipstream drive to travel quicker when we are on the warp map. And I am right now heading for the uh, transwarp to Gamma Orionis gate. This is uh, that's where the Omega Task Force is, but I'm going there because I can be inside my ship and have access to bank, mail, and exchange all in the same place. Otherwise, Deep Space Nine tends to be my pla favorite place of hanging out because you there can exchange items for STF uh, gear. Oh dear. Oh my dear, my trip. <laughs> I told you not to tell my crew that uh, I I drink their Romulan ale. Now one of my officers has been injured. Oh, this is so horrible. Anyway, I'm going to set up this a little, and then we'll be with you in a moment. We are going to uh, engage with the Borg in space. So what can go wrong? Oh they are. Don't you hate when somebody says that? <coughs> anyway I'm going to show you today how to join a query to for an um, infected space normal game and uh, how to uh, how to win once you're there. Infected space uh, is the easiest of all th uh, three space uh, missions against the Borg because you can't be de de defeated. You can't. Uh, you can keep going and going and going. Anyway, let's we hit volunteer. Then we go to infected space normal, and then we hit join QE. Now we are on the QE, as you can see in here. And if you receive an error message, I suggest just relogging until this problem is solved. Now an STF has uh, two kinds of, objecti of objectives. Critical objectives and optional objectives. In the case of infected space, uh, the critical objective is to clear the map from all board presents. In the case, uh, the optional objective is to do it in less than, I believe it's 15 minutes, we're going to see it in a moment, and uh, without allowing any, any kind of healing to reach uh, these guys in the sides. Well, we are half spawn, we are here, there are a board cube, and three and two board spheres in front of us. So let's start. Let's start dealing some damage. You can see I am quite <laughs> the kamikaze. Oh dear. Well, it's a fairly it's a fairly weak cube. Don't worry much about that. Uh, you can see the I have 15 minutes exactly. Yes. Ooh. And you can see I don't want to get so close to the gate. It's it's uh, a little hard to fight it. So how do we do that? Well, there are three kinds of enemies, of static enemies. We need to consider the gateway, which is the last you will be attacking. The uh, I can't really see it from here. Well, believe me, there there, there it is. The nanite transformer. And the nanite generator. The nanite transformer is just uh, uh, is the item you you need to avoid to uh, avoid uh, to be healed. So uh, the moment we destroyed these uh, nanite generators, you're going to see it in a in a moment. A spawn will be start to happening. First, uh, after the first nanite generator is destroyed, there uh, some en uh, enemy ships will spawn, and when two are destroyed, Borg spheres, two of them, will also spawn. So I will repeat my 
I will repeat my work in here well the one I did before and I will say hi to everybody and you can see down there a lot of enemies are coming down they won't attack anybody until they reach a certain distance but you need to destroy and prioritize nanite spheres and nanite probes why? because they are the ones that uh, cause a, f a mission failure if they reach a point where they can heal the um, or they can heal the nanite transformer ooh, I better brace for impact, I'm too close yeah, see, I got some damage from the explosion uh, anyway, as I was telling you if they reach a position where they can heal the transformer uh, you will lose the optional objective uh, I, let's remember the optional objective means destroying the <coughs> the warp gate and everything in this system that is Borg uh, before 15 minutes and without any Borg ship healing uh, the transformer I know my ship is slow I'm flying a cruiser 2500 uh, crew what do you expect by the way the <laughs> Odyssey cruiser is the worst idea ever by, for the Starfleet uh, because frankly <laughs> it gets uh, a really huge amount of uh, casualties all the time a lot of people dies in my ship I can get about 5000 casualty count in a single mission easily anyway attacking the nanite transformer is useless as long as the nanite generators are up and running so you need to focus your fire usually first in the usually first in the in the NPCs and in the enemy ships that can attack and damage you and then uh, well in that I'm going to launch my Aquarius escort which we can see there and I'm going to keep attacking anything that moves the Aquarius escort is an it's a ship that I can't control oh dear, this is getting awfully ugly there we go, perfect Uh, we need to uh, uh, avoid at any cost that uh, any of these uh, nanite uh, ships, be it a probe or a sphere, reach the transformer. That is uh, of supreme importance if we can, if we want to uh, to get the optional objective. And fulfilling the optional objective means to get better loot. So it's in our in the in everybody's le best interest to fulfill the optional objectives. Okay, it has been destroyed, and you see that a, a tactical cube has been spawned. So now the gateway won't uh, won't do anything. Frankly, you can freely ignore the gateway if you want. But uh, people prefer to attack it first because it doesn't move, it has a lot of uh, hit points and you can basically stay between the gate and the board cube without much effort. Mm, some people might think that the warp gate heals the cube but it doesn't. And uh, no, the closer you get, the more damage you receive. We, uh, the gate will ac attack you even if you are at max rank, at max distance. But oh well, it's the f it's one of the things I like about Star Trek Online, like uh, World of Warcraft. There's uh, a lot of things that people doesn't know, or just imagine works that way, or whatever. Okay, let's engage the tactical cube. 
before the warp gate explodes on us. Did my Aquarius export blow up? No, it's a 100%. You know, the problem of uh, of your ads is that they tend to... Uh, it, it, it tends to get too close to the target because it goes like a fighter well, the scorts are usually like fighters and it tends to get stuck near it so uh, if they do that and then the ship low ups well, it's not, uh, it's not funny to have, to have a part of your ship blown up not really a problem for my for me right now, but uh, frankly uh, I can lose I can lose my Aquarius escort. Not a great problem as I told you. Again it's a good idea to hit brace for impact before this. Because the yeah, see? One one was that. This is the extra loot. Uh, as I was telling you the problem is when I use the chevron separation because, well, it's about 1500 crew what can be get lost and that is never, never funny because it's a lot of uh, hood regeneration that you lose ah, didn't got anything really good, sadly oh dear, yes I did <laughs> Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, this is the gold lockbox, Cardassian lockbox, that you really uh, want to keep on you. I believe it's uh, bound, but uh, you can always try to buy another another key, which are also bound, I believe. <coughs> Let me check it anyway. Mm, yes, it's bound. Not idea, I have 66 C points. Well, let's go to the dilithium exchange by 34. Let's withdraw all. Yes, I have exactly a hundred. So let's see what uh, surprises do we get in here. Oh, gamma Quadrant teams on combat supplies. Not the best option. Mm. Oh, yeah. oh well, I need to open it to see what's in there. Oh, health and, sh and shield boosters. I don't know what is it. Oh well, it's a mix of uh, health and shells healing. Not really worth it. I suppose I can sell it in exchange for a good mo um, amount of money. This was much more useful. 10,000 extra experience. But, oh well. I just expend uh, about 18... Uh, that means a day's worth of... Uh, A day's worth of dilithium. <sighs> well, that has been it. That was infected space. It was rather good because it was fast and it was uh, very, very goodly made. Uh, if you're running a, an escort, be ready to go from attacking static targets to attacking the nanite things. That's what's expected of you because. Well, you already saw what horrible turn rate the we cruisers get, and in exchange, I will tr uh, we will try to draw all fire from enemy ships. That's our little gentleman's agreement. Uh, in the next episode, I will attempt uh, pure space or ketomer space. I'm not sure. Maybe well. Queer space, I believe, which is uh, another easy one uh, to an extent, especially if you know uh, some tricks. 
and uh, I will hopefully show you the chevron separation advantage I get. Uh, I hope you had fun and uh, I hope you to, you uh, will be watching my next video. Thanks for watching and bye!